Hey guys, this is Ulrich from Nostalgic Mathematics. In this video, we will try to solve this problem. We are given two real numbers, x and y, showed that x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 multiplied by y plus the square root of y squared plus 1 equals 1. And we'd like to find all the possible values of x plus y. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways of solving this problem by thinking outside of the box. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. So we recap. So we have this condition and we want to find value of x plus y. Now, because of this term, square root of x squared plus 1, we can think of a conjugate. So I propose the following conjugate, minus x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Uh, yes, we may have choose x minus square root of x squared plus 1, but we stuck with this one because it is positive. Because when x is positive, we know that the square root of x squared plus 1 is greater than x because the square of those numbers will be x squared and x squared plus 1. So this is greater, so it is positive. Now, let's see. When we multiply this number by its conjugate, we're going to have minus x squared plus the square of the square root, which is x squared plus 1. So the multiplication of the number and its conjugate is going to be 1. Quite interesting. So if we divide by the original number, we have that the 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1 equals the proposed conjugate. Interesting. Now, what we do here is that we're going to divide the relation a by the number x plus square root of x squared plus 1. So we're going to have that y plus square root of y squared plus 1 equals 1 over the same number. But using this outcome, we have that y plus square root of y squared plus 1 equals minus x plus square root of x squared plus 1. So we just rearrange the terms to have x plus y equals d square root minus that other square root. Interesting. Now we know that in this problem, x and y are playing symmetric roles. So if we switch the rules and dividing rather by the square root of y plus y squared plus 1, we're going to have that x plus y equals d square root. Notice we switch the rules of x and y minus that other square root. We notice that this number is the opposite of this other number. So if we do the sum of b plus c, we're going to have that 2 times x plus y equals 0. And therefore, x plus y equals 0. And we are done. Now, we propose you a second method. The key idea is this. When you look at this x plus square root of x squared plus 1, it suggests to use the function cinch. In case this may seem brutal for some of you, let's go through a quick reminder. We know that the cinch function is defined as follows. Cinch of t is e to t minus e to negative t divided by 2. And the reciprocal, so the arc cinch is defined like this. So using the second definition, by using the exponential function of both sides, we get x plus square root of x squared plus 1 equals e to arc cinch x. That's where this idea is crucial. So if we perform this variable change, x equals cinch of t, we know that this quantity is going to be e to arc cinch of cinch of t. But arc cinch of cinch is the analytic function, so this is going to be t, so that x plus square root of x squared plus 1 equals e to d. So if we do the same, setting y is cinch of s, so y plus square root of y squared plus 1 equals e to s. Now we use this. So this multiplication is going to be e to t multiplied by e to s, which is e to t plus s. And we know that this quantity is 1, so e to t plus s equals 1. So that t plus s equals 0 and t equals minus x. Now, cinch is an odd function, so cinch of t is negative cinch of s, and cinch of t is x, and cinch of s is y. 
so x equals minus y and therefore again x plus y equals zero and we are done thank you for your attention again do not forget to subscribe like share and post your comments bye